Hey everyone, it is Money Mike here, and today we're talking about a fancy serial number that is quite valuable. So what is this? Well, it's called a radar repeater. First off, what's a radar serial number? I have a video describing what it is, along with the rarity and value. I'll link that above and in the description. But in short, a radar can be read forward and backward, and it's the same number. So what about a repeater? Well, again, I have a video describing what a repeater serial number is along with the rarity and value. I'll link that above and in the description. But a repeater has the first four digit block repeating again in the second four digit block. So the radar repeater, it's a combination of both of those occurring in the serial number. Now, it also, in addition to that, is a binary serial number. I have another video describing what a binary serial number is along with the rarity and value. I'll link that above and in the description. But essentially, it's a serial number that is made up of only two unique digits. So there's a lot going on with the serial number. Now, you may not even be aware that certain serial numbers can be valuable. So you're not watching out for them. And it's entirely possible then that one could be hiding in your house, in your car, purse, or wallet. So you might wanna go check on that. Otherwise, maybe you do know certain numbers can be valuable, but you're just not aware of this style. So in terms of rarity, I've got a chart pulled up here from the coincommunity.com forums talking about radar repeaters and the number of occurrences in basically 100 million notes. And they're suggesting they occur 90 times. And that would be if they're all in sequential order. So the problem is um, the modern notes, the serial number doesn't go this high, it goes to 96 million. So it's gonna throw the number of occurrences you're seeing this, on this chart off a little bit. But if we were to go off of the 100 million notes in sequential order, the odds of coming across the radar re repeater would be one in 1.111111 million. So uh, pretty rare. Now, you've also gotta remember that just because you have 100 million notes in front of you, doesn't guarantee you 90 radar repeaters. What happens is after they're printed and distributed all over the country and even the world, they can get lost, they can get destroyed, they can get taken out of circulation by collectors. So the chance of probability of coming across them is really randomized, meaning if you had that 100 million notes in front of you, you may not have 90 repeaters. Maybe you only have 50 repeaters, or maybe you're lucky and you have 150. So it's gonna be really randomized. Now, the fact that they're so rare is what is driving the value. And I have here a couple of sales that occurred over the last year. Normally I have eBay sales over the last several months filtered from highest to lowest, just to kind of show the range of what they're going for. But because these serial numbers are rare, there haven't been a lot of sales recently on them. And so I had to dig uh, even further into eBay's product research insights to find these sales, which occurred over the last year. And there's only two of them. So you can see here, one sold for $205.50 and the other one for $64.95. Now, why the differences in prices? Well, it could be due to the condition of the bill, maybe the year of the bill. Also, on that low price, I suspect the seller didn't really know the value behind this bill and uh, didn't sell it for enough. And then on the high price, that's probably more in line with what these are worth. Uh, maybe the average would be a little bit lower but there's really not a lot of data to go off of in recent months to really give a true number on that. But it could also be that it was a high sale because it was perfect timing. Maybe the perfect buyer saw it at the perfect time and that perfect buyer was willing to pay more than what the average price of these were. So there we have then a nice high sale to reference, but that at least shows you that these bills can be that valuable. So speaking of value, I do hope this video was valuable for you. And as always, thanks so much for watching and we will catch you on the next one.